are, Virginia. Go right ahead and do that. Hi, Mark. This is me, Virginia Fuller. As you know, I have been very concerned about um, politics in my community, mm -hmm. and that got me started on getting involved in who gets elected for office or not. Mm -hmm. I am a strong conservative. I am a God-fearing woman, and um, I like to see things happen orderly and um, righteously. Mm -hmm. And uh, from what I can see is going on right now, it appears that evil is always rearing its ugly head and seem to be winning. So um, I'm here to talk about what perhaps we can do to uh, not be passive sta uh, standby um, onlookers but to get involved and, and make the system work the way it was intended to work mm -hmm. by our founding fathers. Mm -hmm. Right. I got a couple of headlines for you, by, by the way, today. A um, couple of things that we have, uh, as you know, um, the, Kareem, the, uh, the media spokeswoman of the White House, she got a, uh, she got a, um, uh, she drove, uh, and hit a car. Um, she didn't injure herself. It just had just had a fender bender, twice the legal limit of, of alcohol uh, in her body. That's the that's the new press White House press secretary Kareem, whatever it is. Uh, anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. She uh, uh, she she did a minor um, a minor fender bender with a uh, um, with another car. No injuries. But it was just a lot, it was a minor accident, but she was twice the legal limit. This is from uh, th this is happened on Entertainment Tonight Extra E News. Uh, this is on this is also on uh, Extra Television. Um, uh, this is uh, on uh, MTV News. TMZ has it, so there you go, folks. There it is, right there in a nutshell. So that's what we. Again, you know, I would like to concentrate on things that really matter to us. Mm -hmm. um, yes, um, that is a very poor example she's setting for young people or even older people. Right. But we shouldn't get distracted. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's something that local law enforcement can handle. Right. But and, and, and obviously, um, she will have to fa face the reporters when she shows back off for work. But, right. So we have much more important things to to con to be concerned about. Like, like China, like China. I know China is a big one. I mean, what's going on right now is the biggest threat that Donald Trump talked about World War Three right now. I mean, that's the biggest threat we have in this country right now. We're facing that because uh, China with a with a balloon, and then we got also with um, the biggest the biggest threat right now is Russia. Working with Iran, with China, uh, with uh, Saudi Arabia right now. Those are the biggest things we have in this country. The biggest so world threat gonna, in open borders. How are we, we going to fix those things, though? Because it, it looks like our house is not in order. Right. We cannot fix. We cannot haul China uh, onto the carpet. Neither can we do it with Russia if we can't even curtail the misuse and abuse of power right. by the administration. So that's where we need to concentrate on. We, we try to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to um, elect and get conservative Republicans in office. Somehow the, the, the Democrats managed to, to uh, squeeze out a win over the Senate Right, but but still, I don't see, or maybe it's because there are too many distractions. I don't see enough of our conservative leaders mm -hmm. fighting to, for instance, impeach um, the president. If it was if it was the former president Trump that had committed all these misdeeds, uh, taking money from from adversaries like China and Russia mm -hmm. and having his kids benefit for uh, no no big con 
contract deals overseas and earning so yeah. many uh, millions of dollars, he would have been he would have been impeached ten times over than he has already been when he had no evidence. With this president, there is a lot of evidence. We have evidence that um, he had he had um, not um, from hell. Security, security file that right. he had no business of having on his private property. Right. President Trump got his his house got raided for, but um, we still have somebody that did worse because he had no authority, right. and he's still walking free. He's still ruining our country. The first thing he did was um, uh, shut down the oil industry and right. natural gas in industry, and now we're looking at gas twice as much as when Trump left office. Four times, actually. We're going up four times. Actually, I just, I just filled, I just filled the car up. Now you're not going to believe this. Is now in Oregon. In Oregon here, is six dollars and twenty and twenty three gallon and twenty six dollars and twenty three cents now for a gallon here in Oregon. Is yeah. That, uh, obviously, in the Democrat state, it's worse, and you wonder where the the. the people that vote for the Democrats where they have their head up. Right. <laughs> because you, know, you cannot tell me that you love a person so much that you can't see anything wrong with him destroying your future and uh, um, putting, putting your children and great-grandchildren uh, just basically in the poorhouse. They're going to yep. become slaves. Because all this debt is going to be on their doorsteps. It's ridiculous. People have... Inflation. Open yeah, inflation. It's going, it's going to... I mean, we're at... We're almost at $32 trillion. Yeah, $32 trillion right now. It's amazing. That's incredible. Uh, it, you know, we... He's spending money like it was. Like it was he's spending money, spending money like it was, it was not, like it was not even the American dollar, not even American dollars. It was like more like foreign aid uh, uh, help, you know, or getting money off of, uh, uh, off uh, getting money. Money goes on trees, basically. It's what he, that's what I think. Is what his theory is. I think that's what's going on. Is in his um, in his. Uh, um, uh, well, I also have the suspicion that yeah. um, the, the the money that he's spending overseas in Ukraine and in uh, so-called um, other countries that, that they wanna that they wanna uh, keep uh, our adversary said they mm. I believe that much of the money is coming back into um, Democrats' covers. Exactly, so George Soros. All the money. To, uh, to win elections and, and buy votes. Right. That's exactly right. And and buying lobbyists and and buying in, in, in interest too as well. That's exactly what's going. On. You're right. 